What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Leo coming to you guys with another video. So, Hell in a Cell is this Sunday, and I will be checking that out. But today, I'm going to be giving you guys my predictions for Hell in a Cell. So far, there's only six matches confirmed at the moment of me recording this video. So, if they um, announce any more uh, matches for the card, then I'll do like an updated video, and I'll talk about my predictions for those matches that have been updated on the card. But I'm going for what is confirmed as of right now. So, this is not in any random order at all. We're just going to pick a random one, talk about it, get my predictions, and that's my format for that. So, the first match, triple threat for the Raw Women's Championship. Bianca Belair defending her championship against Asuka and Becky Lynch. Um, in this match, I have Bianca retaining. If you didn't catch, what my thing is on Raw on this past week, basically Bianca beat Asuka one-on-one -on -one clean. And I was kind of confused because you just brought her back and she's already eaten up, taking a first loss when she shouldn't. I feel like you sh after this match, you continue the feud between Asuka and um, Becky or whatnot and keep doing that. But I don't know what the whole deal is on that. You guys can comment down below and tell me what you guys think about that. I want to hear what you guys have to say about that. What do you think about Asuka taking her first loss? When she just came back, probably what, like two, three weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. But I do have Bianca Belair retaining the Raw Women's Championship. The next match is for the United States Championship. And this one was just announced on Monday Night Raw. Um, theory, I'm, I don't, I'm just going to call him Austin Theory. I just don't, I like, I feel, it, it sounds better to me. Um, Austin Theory defending the United States Champion, Championship against Mustafa Ali. Um, a lot of people are start, are getting behind Mustafa Ali. Everybody likes him. And I definitely feel like at some point you should keep building him up to possibly get a, ch a championship win. Maybe take him over to SmackDown and, you know, he can add some flair to that Intercontinental Championship division. Because that division is kind of lackluster to me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. But who I think is going to win, Austin Theory is going to retain. I feel like you're going to keep building this guy up. And maybe at uh, SummerSlam, maybe or WrestleMania. It depends on how they, uh, what they do. Maybe have um, Austin Theory say, oh, I want John Cena at, at SummerSlam. And they have a huge match, and that kind of progresses his um, feud. Not feud, but progresses him even more to go to the next level. And having a big win over John Cena would definitely do wonders for him and his career. So I definitely feel like that's kind of going to be the route that they're going to probably go at some point. We just have to see. But... In that match, I do have Austin Theory retaining the United States Championship. And the next match is a handicap match. Bobby Lashley versus Omos and MVP. Um, basically, this match is kind of uh, going off of MVP, possibly. MVP and Bobby Lashley had a match, right, a couple weeks ago. And basically, Bobby Lashley got into it, Omos um, outside the ring. He didn't make the 10 count, so that kind of gave uh, MVP the win, and he said, oh, this is going to be a handicap match. That's basically where this match comes in. Uh, to be honest, I really don't care for this feud. I feel like it should have ended already. Who do I think is going to win this match? Um, I'm definitely going to go with um, Bobby Lashley to win. If Omos wins, I it could care less. It, it can go either way. I really wouldn't care. Um, but I'm just going to go with Bobby Lashley. Keep building this guy up. He's probably one of the top baby faces over there. Um, he's really one of the top eight faces on the Raw, so I definitely feel like you probably want to give him a win here. Even though he's probably going to win for the majority of this feud, he did he won at WrestleMania, and then he won in that steel cage match, and then the only match he almost won was at Backlash. So I don't know if you want to do that, have almost win, and then have a match, have another match, and that be that blow off match or something. I don't know. Uh, but the next match is Ezekiel versus Kevin Owens. And in this match, I do have Ezekiel winning. I feel like they're kind of wanting to build him up just a little bit. And I feel like a win for Kevin Owens would just progress him even further up the card. So, and, and I don't feel like uh, Kevin Owens taking a loss here would do too much to his character. I don't think it would destroy him or any type of thing like that. I feel like Kevin Owens could take a loss. He's very entertaining. It, it really wouldn't do much for him. If he won, it really, I feel like it wouldn't do much. And I feel like he's been getting the upper hand over Ezekiel. He would be, be talking down on him and this and that, you know. So I definitely feel like this can probably be a way to get 
because you feel a win and I don't know if you want to progress the speed after whatever you do after then it is what it is you know but the next match we have here is Finn Balor AJ Styles and Liv Morgan versus Judgment Day so in this match I thought this was kind of probably be like a hell in a cell type of uh, stipulation I feel like this match really could have benefited from it to an extent and some of you might agree with this, some of you might disagree. But um, who do I think is going to win? As much as I love Finn Balor, Liv Morgan, and AJ, I feel like they've kind of been on the downside. They kind of haven't been getting, they've most likely been laying out, getting laid out by Judgment Day recently. And this week, basically, Judgment Day were, well, besides Edge, Edge I don't think was, Edge wasn't there. It was just Damian Priest and um Rhea Ripley they left got left laying by AJ Finn and Liv and Liv did get a win over um Rhea so I definitely feel like Judgment Day are gonna win because I feel like you kind of want to keep building them up as a faction so you if them taking a loss right now will kind of hurt them a little bit um but if I mean it, it can go either way this one can go either way but I feel like the safest bet to have Judgment Day win. I wish they could have. I hope they do. Uh, Liv Morgan, AJ, and Finn some justice here. Maybe don't they don't get squashed or anything like that. I don't think that's gonna happen. Hopefully not. But keep building them up, especially Liv Morgan. She's definitely improving week by week, and she's only gonna get better as time progresses. I definitely, hopefully, by the end of this year, we could see her with a championship. She totally deserves it. She's been working hard every single week you just see it and the way she moves in the ring that and all of us fans want to see it so hopefully she wins maybe a little fantasy book and maybe she wins money in the bank hopefully we'll have to see but um yeah judgment day are gonna win and the main event which is i'm pretty sure is gonna probably be the main event um cody rhodes versus seth Rollins inside hell in a cell and i think this is the only match confirmed to be inside hell in a cell so, who do I think is going to win? Cody. I feel like Cody needs to win this one. Seth can't win this one because it would defeat the whole purpose. You had him go 2-0 over, over Seth so far just to have Seth win the third one. And he's still down. He's still down in the, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, in the, if the series, if you want to call it like that. So, um, it's more of like a best of three type of, type of scenario. If it was 1-1, one, one, then it would make sense to have to do something like that. Um, But it just would defeat the whole purpose. And I feel like Seth, he can take a loss, and he will be still fine. Cody, you, he needs to win. He needs to go 3-0 and over Seth. He needs to, you have to keep building this guy up to be a credible contender for Roman. He take a him taking a loss to Seth right now will kind of knock him down just a little bit. And you don't want to do that. That's going to cause setbacks. To him possibly get Roman because if he loses, just say this for example, right? He loses, right? And then the next night he's he calling out Roman. No one's gonna believe that because you didn't beat Seth. You didn't beat Seth the previous night, so how are we supposed to take you serious to face Roman, who's at the top of his game right now? So him him taking a loss can't happen. He needs to win. He needs to win money in the bank, cash in, come WWE champion. That's all he needs to do. He he's he's doing a lot of people, like myself, didn't think he was going to be in this position when he came back. We thought he was going to probably be the same person he was before he left. But he's definitely improved. He's been growing a lot of people. He's one of the top guys right now. So he definitely needs to get this one over Seth. And I'm pretty sure this match is going to be brutal. Just a little fantasy booking again. Imagine they've been kind of teasing pedigrees a lot when in their feuds, like from Backlash and um, WrestleMania. So what if... There's some pedigrees involved here, which more like it might happen. But this time, Cody Rhodes hits a pedigree on Seth Rollins, and then he pins him one, two, three. Just imagine the pop he would get for that. And just how many, just how many, think about how many people would be shocked if that happened. Because think about it, you came from AEW, you were you were talking uh, trash about Triple H and stuff, and then you come back to WWE and you hit a pedigree on Seth Rollins and just pins him. That would be insane. I would definitely lose my mind if that happened. But that's the end of this video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hit the post notification bell so you know every time I post a new video. 
it'll get two likes on this video as well. Also, comment down below your Hell in a Cell predictions, and we'll have a discussion about it. I want to hear what you guys have to say, and give me some of your opinions. Do you think um, anything else will happen? Maybe like a surprise return or anything like that? I've been hearing the rumblings. Maybe The Fiend might come back, and if he does, it's possible he might return in that match between Cody and Seth. So, comment down below if you guys think that will happen. Do you think The Fiend will come back? But... That's the end of this video, and I'll see you guys in the...